Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to 40 Rounds. I'm Chris Ford, aka 40. This is my weekly running vlog. I'm just about to start my new challenge, which is two half marathons back to back. Let's get stuck in. First time at 40 runs, make sure you hit that little red button down there to start to date with all the latest running videos. Go to our Facebook page and join our Facebook running community. And don't forget to check the links below as well. We've got some really cool stuff down there. Uh, so there's some links down there to some of the stuff that I'm using uh, and I would recommend. So, so check them out down below. And so this is my weekly running vlog. If you're new to 40 runs, uh, I do a weekly running vlog along with some other cool stuff. Uh, and I've just taken on a new challenge which I'm super excited about. And I can't wait to get started this week about my new challenge. Uh, if you missed the video on Wednesday, uh, I announced that I'm doing the Great Run Challenge. Uh, so this challenge is all about the Great North Run and the Great East Run. Uh, we've got the Great North Run on the, I'm probably going to get this wrong, it's either like, a, is it the 9th of September? Something like that. Anyway, it's that weekend. And then the following weekend, we've got the Great East Run, which is in Ipswich, and I'm doing them back to back. Um, the super cool thing about the Great North Run is we've got like over 30 of us in the 40 Rounds Facebook group going up there. The Great East Run, we've got guys as well coming up, so that's going to be awesome. And the challenge is to beat my PB from last year, the Great North Run, which is around 153, I think, um, which is slow for me. Uh, but bear in mind that the Great North Run, there's 60,000 people, and anybody who's run it will understand it. It's definitely not a PB course, and it is really hard getting around everybody. Um, so yes, yeah, so the, the first task is to beat the PB at the Great North Run, and then the next task, or the next challenge, is to then beat whatever I do at the Great North Run, I've got to beat it the week after. And now I've got no idea what the Great East Run track's like. Uh, I've read some cool stuff on Race Check. If you've not checked out Race Check, please get over there. Uh, it's where people, like runners like you and me, we leave reviews on, on the races we're doing, but check that out. I say racecheck.com, I think it is. Um, and you see the guys like me with the like the visors on. Um, but yeah, check that out. And so, but I've got no idea what the track's like. I don't know if it's flat, hilly, whatever. I must check it out on Race Check exactly what it's like. As so I know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so then I've then got to beat whatever I've done at the Great North Run. So that's a challenge. So uh, I've got basically eight weeks to go. Um, now this week is like week one, and I'm just gonna this week, apart from the fact it's really hot, and what you find, I don't know about you guys, but after I've done like a, a series of challenges, I like to have a down week, so to speak, um, just to give my body a little bit of time to recover. Last week we had three 10Ks. I also was doing training runs. I was really busy anyway. Um, so it's always good to not ease back completely, but not go nuts. So I'm not gonna go out and knock out, you know, a, a 6K, you know, tomorrow, and, and then do another one thing on Thursday do a park run and then go and knock out a half marathon distance on Sunday, because that's just stupid. What I'm going to do this week is I'm going to build slowly into my uh, training plan. Uh, and this is not a training plan that I'm following from online or anything. This is my own training plan. Uh, and if you want to know more about it, you know, hit me up on the 40 Rounds Facebook group. Just come over and ask me and I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. Um, but basically, this week's going to be uh, a 6K tomorrow morning because it's Monday. Uh, so Tuesday morning, I'm going to get up and go and do my 6K along the river. I'm going to do that real easy. Uh, just again, like usual, just get blood going through the legs. I'll tell you more about that when I'm out there. Uh, and then on Thursday, I'm going to do a tempo run. The key at this challenge is obviously a lot about, it is about the half marathon distance, but it's also doing it at a pace. So I've got to maintain the tempo runs. Um, and then Sunday, I'll probably go and do 10 miles. Um, so 16k, whatever you way you want to look at it. Just a nice gentle run, and I'm going to do that real easy pace um, up to the White Water Rafting Centre and back. Uh, just get that done. And then as we go on, not only am I going to increase the distances, so I will be looking to be doing 25k by the time we get to uh, like two weeks before we get to uh, Great North Run. I'll do a run of about 25k. But also, I'm going to be putting elements of speed within that longer run on a Sunday. I won't, obviously, over the 25k, I won't be hitting pace on that. I'll just be doing that at a general, uh, gentle pace. Uh, but during this like, build up to that longer run of uh, 25k, I will be adding pace into those longer runs. I will maintain the tempo run I said to you, and I will also, on the, my sort of Tuesday early run of the week, I'll then put into heels and stuff like that into that run as well. Again, it's about endurance. The Great North Run, if anybody hasn't run it, there's a lot of 
inclines, slow, steady inclines um, in the Great North Run. So you've got to build a bit of endurance up as well. So I'm going to be doing that as well. I say, so that's, there's a lot going on. It's, I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am about this, uh, this challenge. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, let's get stuck into the week. What's up everyone, morning, Wednesday, new challenge. So I didn't run obviously Tuesday because it's Wednesday, but that's because like I said at the start, it's down week. So, just doing a nice easy 6k, slightly different route. Uh, it's more of a trail-ish down here, very uneven. I just want to do something different, you've got to mix up your routes. Uh, don't know about anyone else, but suffering with a hay fever this week got a mental cough uh, and my sinuses but you know what can you do so that's not giving me much motivation and I'm such an idiot I wore a new pair of shoes not running shoes but new shoes the other day I've got like two holes in the back of my heels so I've got to take one over there so I'm managing that and also what a great start to the challenge eh? anyway so today like I said, nice and easy. First, well, Friday, probably go a little bit quicker. Not mental, because it's a down week. And then, like I said, on Sunday, I'm going to pick up the distance a bit and hit that. I'll probably do 10 miles. Um, let me see how we get on. Anyway, it's a great route. It's beautiful down here, have a look. I'll catch you in a bit. I just want to stop because look at this check this out this is just such a great place to run around here look not too shabby is it you can pop there and all where it helps anyway I better crack on we're at 3k I ain't really got time to sit around have I That was 7k. 7k in around 520. Which is a bit too longer than I expected, but it's a nice trek down to the weir. Yeah, 7.26k, 521. You see that? So, Friday, tempo run. Catch you later. Morning guys, uh, Friday, early, just that crushing this tempo, I started off slow and I'm just burning up this next couple of K, I'm not sure how long this route's going to be, might be five, might be six. Okay, so we'll see how we get on. I've got to put my foot down, I've got to concentrate. Try and get this tempo run done. So I'll see you in a bit. Update, three kilometers, 4.45. Woo, this is hard work. See there, 5.8, okay. 
Oh yeah, that was hard work. 5.8k, 445 per kilometer. That was hard going, no lie. Legs are definitely tired. I definitely need a holiday. So, Sunday, here we come. I still don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do 10 miles, 16 miles, I ain't got a clue. So, I guess you'll find out on Friday. Catch you later. Morning, y'all. It's really early, like 6.30 early. I've just knocked it out 10 miles. I've got to take the girls swimming later. Down in South Mid, so we're going to do that. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you at the White Water Rafting Centre. Right, update. We are like, just under six kilometres. Nearly at the White Water Rafting Centre. My left leg's hurting a bit, which is just overuse. So that's my own fault. I tell you what, an half wall. Woo! I know again, it's not even 7 o'clock yet. But anyway, what I'm all rafting, here we come. I better concentrate on keeping my pace. I'm trying to aim for a nice steady 520 per kilometre today. I'll probably do a couple of quick ones on the way back, but in general, just trying to keep that pace steady. So, let's crack on. Right, that's me done. Let's have a look. Tell you what, that was hard. It was basically 10 miles, but I'm not sure the pacing. It should be about 5.17. Oh, that was hard. That's the longest I've done for a long while. Um, yeah, 10 miles, 5.16 per kilometer. But uh, yeah, that wasn't easy, guys. I know it's hot and I'm like, I was well jumped in the river, I'm so wet. But it's definitely hard work out there today, guys. So that's another week done. Next week, probably going to run a Wednesday. I'm down in South End, so if anybody's running down the seafront Saturday or Wednesday, make sure you keep them out for me. Uh, then probably run again Friday, and I may chuck in a cheeky park run on Saturday. But uh, first week of half marathon training done. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. You know, I really do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, you got something out of the week and you can see the direction we're going in with this training plan that I'm now taking on. Um, and it's gonna be exciting, so stick around. Don't forget we've got a video coming out on Wednesday, uh, like usual, um, so you know the format now, Sundays and Wednesdays we post. Uh, don't forget to check us out on the social media sites, follow us, 40 Runs, uh, so check the links below, go to the 40 Runs store, join the Facebook group. There's so much 40 Runs stuff, you've gotta get involved. Don't forget also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, give this video a thumbs up, and check that video out. You all know the drill by now, so yeah, that's it, cool. All right, I'll catch you guys next week.